welcome back to Divine Honesty. This is your girl, Tiara. And today I'm going to be doing a reading for one of my favorite zodiacs. It's the Cancer, the Moon, Nurturing, Fly, Good Food type of motherling, fatherling <laughs> energy from the zodiac. It's my Cancers. And we're going to be getting into your ex, the energy surrounding them, and then how they feel about you. I always tell everyone, in order to support, to try to resonate, just send out good vibes, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like my style of reading and interpretations, or if you resonate with this, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. Also, at the end, you will do pick a card for your conclusion, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reading. What is the energy of Cancer's X? What is the energy of Cancer's X? Okay, so that flipped out. What is the energies of Cancer's X? What is the energy surrounding Cancer's X? What is the energy surrounding Cancer's X? So the first is High Priestess. This is definitely a water sign energy. It can also be Sagittarius or Scorpio. I mean, Sagittarius or Virgo, but with this energy cancer, it's like they are subconsciously thinking of you, um, stating they should have listened to their intuition. Okay, they could be dreaming of you as well. Let's go ahead and get some more energy. Oh, regret, five of cups. If you look, you see all the cups is on the floor. He's bowing. They are regretting something intuitively. Oh, Sagittarius energy, temperance, healing. Oh, they're going through something right now. And a lot of it is something that they are not bringing out to the surface. So a lot of people do not know. They're regretting. It could be you. It could be the relationship. For some, it's a Sagittarius or a water sign. But they are disappointed. They're very hurt. Wow. Let's see why the high priestess is here. Oh, look. They've been backstabbed, betrayed. Oh, for some of some cancers, I am hearing y'all saying that's what the hell they get. Oh my gosh, look. Look, and there's somebody seeing it all. For some of you, they're about to get their karma. You about to have first row seats. For some of you, you will never know because this is energy represented by the high priestess, which is more of like a, a subconscious type of energy. But they are they are heartbroken. They have been portrayed to the mats. Why is the five of cups here? Look, cannot sleep. Nine of cups. Game, sticking of a way. Strategy, staying up all night. I do see an owl. So some of them can be very smart or in school. Also very sneaky. Okay. Oh, somebody was being very sneaky. Oh, look at this energy. This is some fucked up energy. Wow. Oh, this energy is really sad. Wow. And then we have the Emperor. It could be dealing with the Aries. Wow. Control. It's like their, their life is out of control. It's like they're trying to control everything. And this is bringing them a lot of anxiety and pain and regret. Wow. We're going to see if this correlates with you. But they are going through it, honey. For some of them, they can be very arrogant or control freaks. Or they feel like you was. trying to gain their independence. I'm seeing for some of them, they're trying to get out of a relationship. They're, they want to get out one. Will of fortune, wanting things to turn in their favor. Things are about to turn in their favor for some of them. Yeah. Wow. So things are, yeah, they will have a brand new start in life. Ooh, damn. You're, damn, I'm sorry for your ass. Wow. They have a lot on them. They're going through a lot right now. For some of them, there is heartache, pain. Maybe they, I'm seeing for some of them, somebody died that was close to them. For some of them, they are getting in a breakup, a loss of job. Wow. Trying to find a job for some. Oh, where does this come out? Oh, look, for some of them, they are in jail. This is for a select few. They're in jail. This is eight of swords. They don't feel like they have control over their life because they are so used to doing things a certain way. And they, they don't know how to go about a specific situation. Let's go ahead and get some more energy. Wow. <clears throat> are they in jail? Stuck? 
wanting to get out of a situation, wanting to control a situation that they cannot control. Because some of you, I'm saying it has to do something with either an older man or different women. It's a lot on them. Let me see, why is the Queen of Fortune here? The full Aries energy, big Aries energy. Oh, yeah, they don't feel like they have, any, they want to be free of a situation. Some of them being got cheated on, some of them dealing with the loss. It could be a loss of a home for some, loss of um, someone close to them, or loss of a relationship. They're dealing heavy, and now the loss has caused them to have more things they have to stress about and more things they have to carry. For some of them, they're even in jail or someone's in jail. Not all, that's very a specific few. Let's go ahead and get some energy. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Look, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're having to work harder. They're having to work harder. So for some of them, they're having to get a second job. Dang, why is this so messed up? That's why you cannot fuck with the energies that rule the moon, the Cancers. <laughs> you cannot just fuck with Cancers. Like, wow. Okay, let me get another card and see how they feel about you. Wow. This is some crazy energy. Wow, and this came on out. Heartbreak. Yeah. Girl, what did Nicki Minaj say? You shitted on me, and now you got shitted on. Imagine that. I don't know if that's exactly what she said, but that is the energy of this reading. They shitted on you. And they are being fucking destroyed. Um, three of three of hearts. I mean, three of swords. Their heart is stabbed in different places. Wow! If this person start reaching out to you, um, Cancer, they are going through it. For some of them, it's uh, dealing with childhood or things in their subconscious, and for some, it is like I said, a death of someone. A relationship, a house, or a job, and got a victory for some of them. Wow. Damn. Come back. Don't go sorry. Don't go feeling sorry for them, though. Don't go feeling sorry for them. Don't go feeling sorry for them. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and see how they feel about you. How do Cancer's ex feel about them? How do Cancer's ex feel about them? Take what resonates, okay? How do Cancer's ex feel about them? Let me take that one. So first we got the page, I mean the King of Wands. So with the King of Wands energy here, this energy represents, look how they see you, fire. Okay, for some of them, you too hot to touch. Like you, there's so much intensity. Or for some of them, I can see that you probably like slapped the shit out of them a couple times. <laughs> Or they could have been abusive to you. And I'm sorry about that. But it's a lot of passion, ego, drive. Because you also see Mars in the background. But they are definitely attracted to you. Especially when it comes to sex. So they do think that you're very attractive. But you're really hot. Too hot to handle. Or a lot of things going on. And then look. Page of Swords can be the air sign. With this energy... It represents, you see the chessboard at the bottom. So that strategy is trying to see what's going on. You see the sword pointing to it. So that represents, the sword represents conflict, information, communication, clarity. So it's like they're trying to find out what's going on about you. So some of them are definitely asking or thinking about you. Like I said before, they could be dreaming about you. Or they definitely thinking about what can they do to... Um, see what you're up to they want to know what what you're going through for a lot of them they just trying to compare lives you could be dealing with a scorpio they want to see if you transform they're looking to see if you're still the same let's get some more energy they're looking to see if you're still the same why is the king of wands here we have the ten of pentacles were you married to this person or um are they married now so this has to do something to do with a marriage. Also, a lot of money. Something to do with money. They're looking at you. Do you, honey, are you posting? Are you just well off? Or they're trying to users. For some of their users. But they're definitely looking at you like a pot of money. Hmm. Be very careful. Hmm. Let's get some more. What's the energy surrounding cancer? How do they feel about cancer? How do they feel about cancer? Oh, chariot, your energy. You've been moved on. 
they they see they have sent seen or heard that you've moved on for some of you you know they know that you moved on mm. they see for some of you that you're happy mm. some of you are already you married someone else look they feel like you are very happy oh they can sense you're happy wow let's get some more energy why is the king of pentacles here king of swords king of mint wands sagittarius energy again they feel like you're healed you're very balanced things are going right for you they feel like things are going right for you you're moving in the right direction you're very very attractive to them for some of them they could be even dreaming about sex with you page of pentacles giving you something wanting to start something they're going back and forth of wanting to even reach out and tell you what's going on for some of them they i don't see they want a relationship because they know damn well you don't want one but they just like the fact that you were there emotionally and they're going through a lot of emotional shit what's the nine of cups oh look the ten of swords again they are so heartbroken they don't feel they feel like your happiness comes at a betrayal to them they feel betrayed because you're happy Wow. And that's how they feel about you. Okay. And let's see. Now you have these love cards. And we're going to go ahead and pick a card that represents the energy of you and this person. So if you want to pause the video, you can. So we have the clear century. We have the bloodstone. And then we have the fool's gold. Okay. So go ahead and pick. Pause the video. Okay. So let's see. If you pick the searching if i can even pronounce it correctly this is the energy children your love life is being affected by your children if you pick the bloodstone finance and careers financial issues are a favor in your love life right now and then if you pick fools go keep an open mind your soulmate may be different from you and from your usual types of expectations so let's go ahead and break these down for children, you guys could have had children together and therefore you will be connected through children. Or just look at the situation in the past as something that was immature and you had to go through that in order to grow. For financial and career, finances was a huge part in the relationship and it played a huge part in you guys breaking up. Also, when it comes to a, your relationship now, make sure finances is fair and things is right to prevent that from happening again. And then it says keep an open mind. Just be comfortable to just understand that not everything is going to be perfect in the relationship. And it's okay for people to have different opinions than you. Okay? And if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.